Hi, welcome to Creating the Goods. I'm Wendy. I am so excited. I came across this wonderful DIY. It's an old concept. It's not new. It's using ordinary nail polish and coffee mugs that you get at the dollar store. And you marbleize the coffee mugs. It's a wonderful concept. I've never done it, but I'd like to, today to show you how that is done. So, also, I want to add a cute little quote that I found, and we could put that using vinyl. Also, thank you, all my subscribers. I just hit 1,000 subscribers, and I could not have done it without you. Again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. Anytime I upload a video, you will be notified, and give me a thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's get started and I'll meet you at my craft table. Okay, the materials that we will need to marbleize our mugs are some cotton swab, some nail polish remover, some tape, I'm using painter's tape, something to stir your nail polish, some protective gloves, also some mugs, I got these at the Dollar Tree, some cotton and alcohol to wipe down the dirt and oil, You'll see this Mod Podge. I'm not using this one, I'm using the dishwasher safe. You'll see that at the end of the video. LA Colors, Color Glaze, Gray Graphite, and Silver in Platinum. Okay, some tempered water, not too hot, not too cold. I'm using a regular bowl, uh, and I'm covering it with some grocery bags. Again, not too hot, not too cold. So let's get started. I am going to wipe down the coffee mugs using some alcohol. I know alcohol is really hard to come by these days, but this is what I had on hand. I went ahead and wiped off both of our coffee mugs. I also removed the tag from the bottom of the mugs. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the lip of the coffee mug. Nail polish is very toxic, and I don't want anyone to put their mouth on the coffee mug where there is nail polish. So I am going to take my painter's tape, and I'm going to wrap it around the lip of the coffee mug to protect it from the nail polish. So this way, it will not adhere to the lip of the coffee mug. Okay, so let's get started. We need to work quickly, and I'm going to use the two colors, graphite and also platinum, and I'm gonna put on my protective gloves. I'm going to pour as close to the surface of the water as I can. Again, we need to work fast. We don't want the nail polish to harden. I'm only using two colors. You can use as many colors as you like. I'm going to stir it around using my uh, wooden skewer. Again, you could use whatever you have on hand just to uh, stir it around. And I'm going to go ahead and dip my mug. Cover as much of the surface in one pass so not to have it all clump up on the mug. Okay, you don't want the nail polish all clumping up. That looks really pretty. I like the way that turned out. Beautiful. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skewer and I'm just going to pick up all the residue of the nail polish so that way the water will be nice and clean for my next mug. Okay, again, let's work fast. I'm going to go ahead and pour my nail polish and that is the graphite, the dark gray. And next, I will put the platinum down. I'm going to go ahead and stir. Ahead and I'm going to dip my next mug. I'm going to try to roll it and see how that works. Ah, beautiful. I like the way that came out. It looks just like my countertops. So yes, I think that turned out beautifully. I'm gonna set them off to the side, let them dry, 
and we could get started in Design Space to get our beautiful quilt going. Okay, what we're going to need is a cutting machine. I'm using the Maker. We're going to use a briar, some scissors. I'm using the True Control Knife. I love this. It is, it's wonderful. I'll list it down below if you're interested. I have another little uh, weeding tool and a Cricut weeding tool, some tw tweezers, a scraper, okay, some alcohol and cotton. I'm using um, permanent vinyl, okay, in black. You can use whatever color you want. You might want to use a red or a yellow, something to make it pop. Also, I'm using a mat, and that is the regular mat. Okay, so let's get started. We're in design space. I am just using a mock-up. It looks just like our mugs. What I used was I used defont.com and to pick our letters. Okay, I saw this cute little quote in design space, but I, I didn't like their fonts. So I went to defont.com and I picked up these cute little um, fonts. And the first one I'm writing is, it is the truth. And I'm using Calvin and Hobbes. And I'm just going to kern that. What I did was I just grouped the A in truth and I moved that over. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to just put that on. Put it the best I can. Oh, I like that. I think a little tilt makes it look nice. Okay, next I am going to write universally. Again, I'm going to use Calvin and Hobbes for this as well. Okay, I'm just going to turn it, bring it in a little bit, and I'm going to put that on our mug, position it, get it a little bit bigger, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit, elongate it. Oh, that looks nice. I like the way that turned out too. Okay, the next one I'm writing is called Acknowledged, the word, Acknowledged. And this one I use Coolis. Okay, so I'm just going to go up top, search for Coolis, and there you have it. Just going to kern it, stretch it out, place that on the mug. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to just uh, type in dot, dot, dot. And make that, stretch it out, make it a little bit bigger. You want to make your dot, dot, dots a little big because if you have it too small, it's really going to be hard to weed uh, out on your vinyl. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to put T first. And this is where I added. I added T first. The, actually, the quote I saw, again, over in Design Space, it is a truth universally acknowledged. I just added T first. Okay, I'm going to position it. Everything looks really nice. Okay. And then the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to write coffee first because there are a lot of people out there who enjoy their tea and there's a lot of people out there who enjoy their coffee first. So we have to have, of course, one of each. I am also using Coolis for this one as well. I'm just going to position that, make sure I turned it. Okay, I'm just going to come over and I'm just going to group. It is a truth universally acknowledged. And I'm going to duplicate that and then bring that over to coffee first. Now I'm going to bring up the coffee mug, duplicate that, bring that over to the coffee first quote, bring that to the front, position it, 
Okay, just bring that over a little bit more. I'm gonna group the whole thing. So that way I'm able to move it around nicely in design space. I'm gonna take a good look, see if I need any more adjustments. We also need the quote to cut out to the correct size on our vinyl. And we do that by measuring our mugs. I included the handle on my measurements. Just go up top, click unlock. My width is 6.0 and my height is 5.0. And click lock. Now it will cut out perfectly on our vinyl. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just going to bring it up so that way you can see how it looks. I think I'm going to move the T first needs to be moved over a little bit. So let me ungroup, move that T first over. Okay, that looks good. That looks much better. Okay, I'm going to group it again. I'm going to remove the coffee mugs because I don't want to cut them out. I'm going to head and group the quote, and then weld it because I want everything to come out on my vinyl looking exactly like this that you see in Design Space. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click Make It. Okay, as you can see, we're using a 12 by 12 mat. Mirror is off, this is vinyl, do not need to mirror it. If I wanna make more than one copy, I can just go up there and click as many as I want, but I only want one, so I'm just going to click the one. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to pick my vinyl. I have it as my favorite, but I wanna show you where it's at. Just come down to vinyl. We're going to go down to premium vinyl. There's a star that is a favorite. I'm gonna hit more pressure because my knife is kind of dull and more pressure will be better for cutting. I'm gonna show you how to put our vinyl on our mat. The white side is down. Okay, the shiny side is up. This is not heat, uh, heat vinyl, this is regular vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. I always like to look at my blade to make sure there is no material on the blade. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to load the mat, there's the prompt. When the C button starts to flash, I will click that. Now I am ready to That is done. I will unload my mat. Okay, I'm going to use my true control knife. I'm going to cut out my designs. I always like to use the whole vinyl piece. I don't like to cut off uh, individual pieces. This way I know exactly what I've cut. I could just remove it and just roll it back up for the next time. Okay, I already went ahead and divided my designs. I'm going to make sure it adheres. I forgot to tell you that you need transfer tape. I get mine over at the dollar store. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and weed. I didn't show you everything in my weeding on this one because my next one, I want to show you a reverse weed. Just take it slow. There are a couple letters that um, I lost, but I was able to find them and I just put them right back on the piece of paper. Okay. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do a reverse weed. Go ahead and get your transfer tape, put it on a full square. Okay, do not remove anything at this point. Burnish it really well. You remove it from your mat. Go ahead and burnish it again. Make sure it's really well adhered to the transfer tape. I'm going to remove the back.
Okay, so now you have the transfer tape and your vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the negative. What we don't want. I'm going to start it and then I'm going to put it on my mat. It's easier to work on your mat. I just wish my mat was a little bit more stickier or I had some tape to uh, tape down the transfer tape. So it looks like I'm having difficulty, but I really am not. It's just that the transfer tape is just not sticking well to my mat. Just gently move it, do it on an angle. And just pull gently, just keep going. Okay. I did lose the Y, but I just brought it right back in. That's what the beauty is of vinyl. You could just always fix it. And a couple of dots for the eyes. Then I went ahead and I'm removing uh, the pieces that I do not need in the letters. I'm using this cool little tool. It's a very sharp little point and it works beautifully. I got that over on Amazon. If you're interested, I'll put the link down the bottom. Everything will be at the bottom all the stuff that I used, even to font.com for all my letters. That is a great place to find fonts. Okay, as you see. Okay, what I like about reverse weeding, it is ready to go. You don't need to do anything. With the other one, now I still need to put transfer tape over that, so that way we could adhere it to our mugs. And there's the transfer tape. I'm just going to put it on slowly. I like to do it and just bring, smooth it out from the middle to the uh, ends. So that way there's no bubbles. And it looks pretty good. And I'm just going to remove it from my mat. Okay, I'm going to burnish it down. Make sure everything's on there. Okay, and now I'm going to remove the backing from this. And there you have it. You have both of your designs. Okay, let's get our coffee mugs. Okay, look at our beautiful coffee mugs. I think they look great. I'm right-handed, so I like to put my design on the outside of the coffee mug. Okay. So I'm just gonna prop up the handle using some tacky glue bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the surface with some alcohol and just wipe it down with some cotton. And that looks good. And I'm gonna take my design and I'm just gonna cut some of the uh, vinyl off or the transfer tape so that way it makes it easier to put on our coffee mug. I'm going to go ahead and fold it from the one part of the design to the other part of the design. It gives me a, a good reference of the middle. I'm going to put down like a taco effect and I'm going to put it down from the middle and I'm going to smooth it from the middle to the outside of our design. And then just smooth it out, keep going. Make sure you remove all the air bubbles. I just think that saying is so cute. It is the truth universally acknowledged. Coffee first. And 
I'm going to come to the one corner, come up on an angle, and then just lightly bring it up to remove the transfer tape. It's looking nice. That looks beautiful. Very good. Yup, oh, I'm missing an eye. I, that's what I like about vinyl. You could always come back and fix it. So there you have it. I'm just fixing that eye. And there you go. It looks great. Uh-oh, universally. Didn't know that until right now that that eye is missing. But I did go ahead and come back and I did fix it. And you'll see that later in the video. So let's get our second mug ready. I'm going to go ahead and just clean it off with some alcohol. This was the reverse weeding, but just to keep it clean, I just put the backing on it. So that way it's easier to cut around and that way nothing would happen to it. And just remove it. And going to fold it again like a taco. Design to uh, one end of the design to the other end of the design to get my middle. Again, I'm going to put the center down. And I'm just going to press and then just smooth it from the middle to the outside. Again, come up on an angle. That S was giving me trouble. So I just came on the other side and, took, and pulled it up from the other side. Oh, I'm missing the eye. I'm gonna come back after I completely take off the transfer tape and put that dot right back on that eye. Okay, you see the dots back. Okay, I think they turned out great. Now let's get it. There's the eye. I fixed it, as you can see. Okay, I'm using Mod Podge, and it is dishwasher safe. It says to use a bristle brush, but I don't like the brush marks, so I'm just using a foam brush. And I'm just going to put it lightly on the design. I'm not coming up to the lip. I do not. It's, it's not toxic, but it's not food safe. So I'm just going to brush it where the design is. Again, I'm not coming up. I'm only coming up to the nail polish area. I'm not coming up anywhere where my mouth will touch that mug. And I'm just going to do a thin coat. And the manufactured directions say on the bottle, it says two to three coats, allowing to dry one to two hours. Okay, so that's what I did. For video purposes, I'm only showing you one coat. I allowed it to dry. And then I came back in and did another coat. And then I dried, let it dry again. And I did another coat. So... It is dishwasher safe, but it needs to cure for 28 days. That doesn't mean you cannot use it. You can use it. You just can't put it into the dishwasher until 28 days. So you need to hand wash it. So if you're giving this as a gift, 
make sure you put, uh, keep that in mind that you want to make sure that you do this well in advance. So there you have it. You have your beautiful mugs. I think they turned out fantastic. I had so much fun doing this DIY project. Let me know in the comments below if you're a coffee drinker or are you a tea drinker. Also, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and ring that bell. So anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.